What is going on guys? Justin or OVO update back again with another video and today guys we have the top five things I regret buying from OVO, things I wasted my money on, some things I do not wear, I haven't even worn once. I thought I was going to wear it, but I don't. So with that being said, guys, like, comment, and subscribe down below before we get into today's video. So with that being said, let's get straight into it. All right, guys. So through the past years of me buying OVO since 2014, I have made a lot of mistakes such as hoodies, t-shirts, uh, hats, all that kind of stuff. A lot of it I have sold, but I still do have some items that... I do regret buying and do not wear at all. So with that being said, let's get into number five of the top five things I regret buying. All right, guys. So number five is the OVO Fest t-shirt from the eighth annual Fest. I think this was, I want to say 2017 or yeah, 2017. All the OVO Fest before had awesome, awesome t-shirts. The OVO Fest with the owl on it. But this year's was complete garbage guys just take a look of this and then take a look at the back just the owl there guys i look like a walking billboard when i have this t-shirt on all the other fests have this design on the back and an owl and a nice fest design on the front i don't know what happened for the eighth annual maybe they got this mixed up and they wanted to put the center owl on the front which i completely think they should have done and actually people was wearing it at the show i kid you not people were wearing this as the front at the show I, I don't even know what was going on uh in their minds with this one because personally i'm never gonna wear this i look like a walking billboard and this is a reason why i do regret buying it It was a waste of 50 bucks but i do want to say that obviously i'm gonna buy it because the memories and i was there so this was the exclusive and i had to pick it up regardless it's a cool thing to have in my collection, but do I ever wear it? No. Maybe when I'm going to bed or sleeping or something like that. But it's just not worth it in my opinion. So this is number five on the top five things I regret. Alright guys, so moving on to number four, we got a pair of pants. As you guys could see, this is a white pair of sweatpants. And the amount of times I have worn a pair of white pants even in the summer it is almost next to none because they get dirty it's hard to wear you kind of look like a snowman if i'm being honest and honestly it just doesn't work out that much so i wore these very few times the only times i really get wears out of these is when i'm in the house because the quality is awesome on this pair i do recommend getting a pair in black or a pair of olive or red i have a pair in olive and i love those but the white pair is not doing it for me i'm glad i did pick this up at the warehouse sale and got it for like what 50 dollars but um even still guys 50 bucks rather go buy another ogl t-shirt with that money so number four is these pair of pants all right guys and the third item on my top five things i regret this one might be a surprise if you can't tell from this it is the murakami beanie this was like a $60 hat and it does not fit me. It is orange and very hard to wear. And the fit, like the, look at the type of hat. Look at the top. Look at this. What is this? I don't know what this is, but it is completely personally, in my opinion, unwearable. I don't think it looks good on me. So I kind of just have it chilling in my collection. The only time I did wear this, I had a hood on over it because without it it just looks ridiculous and i'm no i am not gonna try this on there's a reason why drake wore this beanie with the hood on in the photo which i am gonna show up on screen so this is number three on top five things i regret buying all right guys and for number two we have this pink hotline bling long sleeve as you can see we got 1-800 hotline bling down the long sleeves and the owl right there this one also does come with a matching hat that i do not wear and both of these together i do not wear together <laughs> count how many times i set together bear count how many times i set together there this set is something i have never worn not once and both of these together are like over 150 dollars yeah 
you can see why I regret buying this. Honestly, my girlfriend has worn this more times than I have, and it looks better on her than it does on me. Obviously, this is a sick, sick piece, though, to have in the collection. This is rare, sold out super, super fast, so I am going to keep it, and that's the, one of the reasons why I haven't sold it yet, but if it wasn't special and it wasn't part of hotline bling because because hotline bling was something really important and i'm glad they did a collab with ovo for that song which is rare guys nowadays ovo does not do any sort of collabs with any sort of drake singles so for them to do it with hotline bling is cool and i do have the full set the long sleeve and the hat but again over 150 dollars worth of items sitting in my closet so this comes in at number two on the top five things I regret. All right, guys, and the number one thing I regret buying from OVO in my collection is this piece right here. Now listen, every year OVO absolutely kills the band of t-shirts. Uh, 2016, 2014, 2015 all crazy crazy designs the g-wag and what the owl and the mercedes logo insane but for some reason for some reason this t-shirt just had to look like i don't even know what it, what does this look like the pink i mean i get they put the owl the girl wearing the all right it was kind of cool but this and this just does not go together at all and the quality of this tea especially made in Mexico pretty shit don't like it at all never worn it there is a reason why the tag is still on this t-shirt and yeah this was also at the warehouse sale for 25 bucks I paid $50 plus tax plus shipping $70 so yeah and another story about this I was in the car when this dropped and my friend actually bought it for me. I didn't even know what it looked like. I was like, ban a t-shirt? Yeah, buy it, I'll send you the money. As soon as I pulled over and saw the photos, I was just like, what is this? This year was a flop. So that is it guys for the top five things I regret from buying from OVO. I hope you did enjoy this video. Comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, the support has been unreal lately, especially on Instagram. In the past, I want to say five days, we've gone 500 followers, which is insane. So thank you guys. Thank you for subscribing. I have a special place in my heart for everyone who does watch the YouTube videos. That's a fact. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.